Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to send messages on WhatsApp through Tasker. Uh, so this will be very useful for people that want to, for example, send some automatic message or something. But before we start, I just want to let you know that I have created this website called TaskerProjects.com. You can uh, order any custom Tasker projects on there. So if you have any Tasker project idea, you can visit this website, see the contact options and you can contact me. Um, it's completely free to contact me and we can talk about the options. So that's what I do. I create Tasker projects for people. The options are pretty endless, so uh, you can think of any scenario and I will most probably be able to create the Tasker project for you. Let's get back to the video. So how to actually send messages on WhatsApp through Tasker. Uh, so let's open Tasker and I will create a new task. And now what to do here, actually it's pretty simple. You will click on new and you will go to phone. And you can actually see here this uh, action contact via app. You will click on this and you will search your contact here. I have probably cut this part because I had to search through my contacts and you would see all my numbers, but this is this is my contact of myself, that means it will contact me on this, it will contact uh, myself. So then you will select app and you will find, I can see it's a little uh, uh, destroyed here because of some application I installed, but you can ignore this X file manager. Uh, easily there is com.whatsapp.profile, you will need to select that one and you will click OK and you will input some text for example hello you can also select to backup if you want to back out of the application but actually the thing you need to do before uh, running this action because if it would not work is that you need to go to your computer here you will search for tasker permissions and you will click on the first github link you will click on the releases and you will download the last release uh, I'm using Windows so I will install the Windows one I will wait for it to download then I will open it I will run it you will need to connect your phone with USB cable and you will need to go to developer options and enable USB debugging After that, you connect your phone to your computer and as you can see, the app sees the phone. You will click on the phone and click grant our permissions like this. It will, it will do it. Uh, it unfortunately closed Tasker, so. So as you can see, I have created it again. I will just simply now escape. So let's try to run it. And as you can see, it opened and it typed hello and it didn't back out of the of the application because I didn't select it to do it to do so. So if I would select this and try again to back out. So it's working really well. Uh, you can try this on your own. It's also possible to send WhatsApp messages if your phone is locked. If you want to do similar automation, just in, in, just contact me from this website. You can look at my reviews, it's on this website. So have a great day.